Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Good evening. This evening we celebrate Passion Sunday on the fifth Sunday in the season of Lent. And so let us begin in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. As it is the season of Lent, let us say together the first form of the Confidier found on page 66. Almighty Father, you know my deepest secrets. I confess that I have, through my own fault, sinned against your holy laws. In my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do, I sincerely regret my sins, and I am truly sorry for offending you. I ask, Father, that in your mercy, you pardon my sins. I promise to change my way of living so that through a deeper holiness, I may better serve you throughout the rest of my life. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say to our fathers, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> and may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do me justice, O God, and fight my flight against a fa faithless people from deceitful and impious men. Rescue me. For you, God, I must I go about? Lord, for us, your wounds were suffered. O Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. So it was the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the love of your Son led him to the cross of suffering that his brothers and sisters might have new life. Help us to live in the world you gave us. Transform it from darkness into life and the joy of Easter. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, 
when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant. And I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make. With the house of Israel, after those days, says the Lord, I will place my law within them and write in it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from the least to the greatest, shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond, create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. The second reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Whoever serves me must follow me, says the Lord, and where I am, there also will my servant be. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen. I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life will lose it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Those are taken from today's gospel according to St. John, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we as human beings don't like suffering. We don't like hard stuff. We, we like glory. We like fun. We like the things that come after suffering. But the way life is, in order to enjoy the fruits, we must first bear the burdens. And if we think about it, first time maybe we started a new job or started a new task and didn't even know what we were doing. And it, we had to keep at it and practice and keep going. And finally, it was almost like second nature. And maybe we even mastered it. Or the person who dreams of becoming an athlete, you may see the glory of the championship, but you never see the decades of work that leads up to it. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice we make to, in order to get the glory at the end. And that's what Jesus did for us. In order for us to have the glory, in order for him to have the glory, he first had to suffer. And that's what he's saying in our gospel today. He had to go through what he went through for us. And so, also, we are called to suffer in this world. And that's kind of a hard pill to swallow sometimes, I think. Because whenever things happen to us or we go through trials, we always wonder, why does God let this happen? Who, you know, what, what loving God will let us do this? Well, he does this, he lets us go through it precisely because he loves us. Because we are purified each, by each thing we go through. If we allow ourselves, we become more and more like him who suffered before the glory. So when we are suffering, when we are going through anything, let us join that with Jesus' sufferings so that we, on the other end, will become better and more like him and hopefully come to our, our eternal glory in heaven after a lifetime of going through what we go through. Because if we avoid suffering, especially spiritual suffering here, then we may not get that eternal glory on the other side. So, as Jesus says, like a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, bears fruit, we have to lose our lives for ourselves in order to be reborn again in a glorified life with him. Whoever loves his life will lose it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Seeking to serve the Lord who remembers always his covenant, we present with great confidence the prayers we hold deep in our hearts. And our response will be, Lord, have mercy. For Prime Bishop Anthony and all the clergy, that God will inspire and make fruitful their efforts in helping others to come to know Christ and his unceasing mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all those in public office, that the Spirit may guide them to make decisions that protect the dignity of life in all its stages, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> For each of us, that we may approach the sacrament of reconciliation properly to purify our lives, of all that separates us from God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who are sick, especially those on the parish prayer list, that they may bear Ill their illness in union with Christ's obedient suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our own needs and intentions that we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, And for whom this Mass is offered, for the repose of soul of Patricia Kramer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who have gone before us and those who will die today, that they may live in the light and peace of God's presence forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, answer our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, and grant that we may live more fully in your love each day. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. to humble himself to share in our humanity. Pray, may, may the Lord accept, pray my brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Praise from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Heavenly Father, look kindly on our offerings and accept them. May these offerings free us from the bondage of sin and win for us your most loving mercy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment on this world 
and the kingship of Christ crucified. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, give light to the just, make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, this is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling then his death and resurrection to mind. We offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever and ever. Page 95. Let us sing together with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. 
not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the First Communion Prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. For those who are joining us online or who for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you, my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Oh my God, bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body of Christ.
unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Let us pray. Almighty God, through this Eucharist, draw us closer to your Son, that we may die and rise with him to the glory of your holy name. We ask this in the name, through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace. The sacrifice is offered. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass this evening. I pray to have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Take care, stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace by evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go.